<sighs> Spoilers inbound for those who are behind. We have reached the point in the 2019 season where I no longer have to give a shit. Our national title hopes are already dead. We're 9-2, which is a pretty damn good record, but we are only the 12th best team in the nation. We literally can't do anything this year. Like, could sim this game and then get to a bowl game. Honestly, I, I think we're I think we're just done with this version of the team. I hate to say it, I never like to see our seniors kind of go out without actually seeing the games. But spanked in Woodward, uh, wah wah, Sternhard schizophrenia. I uh, Pinkley Taurus is. I think we've seen the last of them. I think we've seen the last of them. I just. Maybe we'll jump into the bowl game, but what happens here against Syracuse is literally irrelevant. <sighs> but then again, my pride won't let me fucking lose to Syracuse. My pride won't let me lose to Syracuse. Hopefully we don't have to jump in at all, but I I couldn't I couldn't stomach. I couldn't stomach losing to fucking Syracuse because we didn't jump Hi everybody. in. Reese Davis with you, bringing you so. the EA Sports All we're doing here is playing for a better bowl game. That's about it. We have no shot at the national title. Not even going to make the uh, conference championship game. So, yeah. Get the ball first as we do. I'm not even going to take the opening possession. I'm just going to sim. And we'll see what happens. We'll jump in perhaps to save the day if we have to. We are currently losing seven to nothing. Fourteen to nothing Syracuse. Fourteen seven the score at the half. Not the most impressive performance. Twenty one seven. Twenty one fourteen. I really I don't want to lose to Syracuse, please. Like I didn't. I didn't even want to have to jump in Syracuse here, but is up a score. you're kind of forcing my hand here. Tackle at the 39. Eight. Kind of forcing my hand. I mean, beat major. It's been the same thing. Hello, Crash Andrews. Um, it's been the same thing every year. Like we get to six, seven, and zero, oh, and we just can't. We just can't finish the job. Terrible spouse, we just can't finish the job. Catches it and he's looking for more. I credit the quarterback on that pass. Hell of a hit there. I think that was wah wah. No fumble though. Nice pass for the first Absolutely day. laid that guy out. Terrible defense again. Yeah, if we lose to Syracuse, I'm uh I'm gonna be a I'm gonna be a angry person. <laughs> The tackle by Shouldice, but yeah, no. If we if we lose to Syracuse here, what's my plan for the future? Uh, to hopefully live until an old age, have kids, um, never get a real job. We'll see how many of those plans stay alive. All right. The risky play here. This is the eighth play of this drive. We're gonna go for the risky play. Stack the line. Try to freak him out. Up tight defensively. Quick out to his receiver. And Buttersticks fails to make the tackle. I hate this team with the fiery passion of a thousand suns. All he had to do was complete that tackle. He would have been behind the line. First down. And it's another failed tackle. For whatever reason, down the stretch, this team has completely lost their ability to tackle. It's insanity. I I do not understand. Like just somehow, some way, this team blows it. They're already in kill the clock territory for fuck's sake. I mean, it's a two possession game with a field goal. We literally need a turnover here. Just blows this one away. Great job by the defense of getting We're going to lose to Syracuse. Right you know how bad you have to be to lose to Syracuse? 
Fuck it, strip the ball. Let's see if you can actually do it. Do you know how bad you have to be to actually lose to Syracuse? And he's tackled at the 13. Oh, we'll get a bowl game at 9-3. and three. We'll definitely get a bowl game, but not the one we wanted. They are killing so much time. At this point, we're going to need an onside kick to beat Syracuse, and I want to throw up. I literally can't call a timeout. I literally can't. If we don't block this field goal, it's pretty much over. Oh, look at the names in the background. Art Donovan, also known as Art O'Donnell. Luke Keekley, Matt Ryan. Literally can't call a timeout because we're going to need those timeouts after uh, an onside kick if I'm even lucky enough to get into that situation. We're going to lose to Syracuse. We are going to lose to Syracuse. Their mascot is a fucking orange. And we're going to lose to Syracuse. This team continues to find new ways to disappoint. Horrible blocking. Absolutely atrocious. We got basically the entire field to go. And the defense stopped them cold on fourth down during their last 129 drive. left. We're down by 10, so it's a two possession game. And he dropped it. And he dropped it. From their own 18 yard line. It's second down. Good thing I was able to pick up three. Yeah, we might actually sim the bowl game. <laughs> we lost last year's bowl game. I it, it almost wouldn't feel right to celebrate the seniors of this team. It almost wouldn't feel right to celebrate the seniors. It was just a better call by the offense. And that's What's there to celebrate? They blew it. From their own the team they're on blew it. Down. What is there to celebrate? He's going to try and scramble. He's at midfield. Slides down to the ground. And that was I still nice can't call a timeout. Brad, I think this guy is amazing. The good thing is they stop the clock the until we start to go to the line. Got to keep all three timeouts uh, in case we fail on the onside the kick. With five receivers. He heaves it deep. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Smart, heady play by that defender. We're about that to get sacked. We might as well air it out and just see what happens. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 46. <sighs> Wow, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out. Four of 11 on third down. On he lets it fly. To the 10. A junior makes the catch. Touchdown, BC. Uh huh. Late in the fourth quarter, and the big question is, in a game this close, who's going to crack first? The draw within a field goal. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a seven-play, 82-yard drive, and they put up seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. Damn. Tackle made at the 44. Well, we got all three timeouts. Late in the fourth quarter in a one possession game. And poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? Syracuse holds the field goal lead. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Hayes picks up five with the carry. The Eagles taking their first time out of the half. Right. 
defense and their short yardage packing. Yeah, I'm simming the ball game. I'm simming the ball game. Absolutely simming the ball game. I never want to see this team on the field again. With this current crop of talent, I never want to see this team on the field again. We just lost to Syracuse to end the season. I never want to see this this current incarnation of this team on the field ever again. Ever. Done with them. We're simming the ball game. We are 1,000%. Fuck the stats. Honestly, I uh, unless you guys insist, I don't even want to look at the end of season stats. I am done with them. We're on to next season. I am done with this team in its current form. Done with them. Absolutely done. Holy shit. None of the stats matter. None of that shit matters. If people win awards, who, sure, cool, whatever. Just done with them. Done. Five men on the fucking defensive line and we still get destroyed, just rampaged off the ball. Unbelievable. We think we could be happy with a nine and three record, but no. Just, it's unbelievable. This was the worst one yet. This was the worst one yet in terms of a season collapse. This, it's not even close. This was easily the worst one. We get John Griffin, our last commit. Through conference championship week, sure. This is easily the worst one. The other two sucked. This one, this one sucks. And this one absolutely sucks. See if it puts us in the cheese at bowl or not. We were three and one in bowl games. We lost last year to Michigan State. John Jackson of Georgia just won the Heisman. And we will be in the cheese at bowl against Texas Tech. Cool. I mean, we're 14th in the nation. I don't care. I'm simming it. I have no desire. Lloyd Christmas won the Bednarik for defensive lineman. Lloyd Christmas also won the Bronco Nagurski, so a great year for Lloyd Christmas. Took the Lombardi as well. What a player. He was our only award winner. Uh, yeah, so cheese a bowl against Texas Tech. Like I said, I don't care about the stats for this year. I don't. We can see them later. Spankton was top eight and pass it. I don't care. I, I, I'm, I'm over this current version of the team. Just absolutely over them. National title game is Texas and Georgia. So Tulsa did not go undefeated. Which goes to show we had a chance. If we kept it to just one win, we would have been fine. But we fucking blew it. All we had, or one loss. If we kept it to one loss, we had a chance. Didn't happen. Tulsa ended up losing the last two games after going 11-0. All right, let's just sim. I, I don't care. We'll see what happens. I, I don't care. Doesn't even show me if we won, and at the moment, again, it's, it's irrelevant. We know our job is safe. This is just about let's get to next season as soon as possible. I can't believe they just lost to Syracuse. That was the straw that broke the camel's back right there. You lose to Syracuse? Fuck it. I'm out. You lose to Syracuse? We are moving on to next season. Thank you very much. White Fat Rock goes to level 26. As we did dominate to win the cheese at bowl 42 to 14. So we're now 4-1 in bowl games over the past five years. We will finish the season at 10-3, ranked ninth in the nation. Lloyd Christmas had a phenomenal, phenomenal year. I do believe he was a senior. We're going to scramble play art in the coach cam. Boost up Road Warrior. 
Well, yeah, Sox, exactly. Like, if you look at the season just at, at face value as Texas ends up winning the national title, if you look at the season at face value, it wasn't that bad. But the fact that, yeah, we're, you know, we keep getting to 7, 8, and 0, oh, and we cannot take that next step forward is, it's disastrous. Frank first. We allowed the fewest points, apparently. Didn't even matter. Didn't even matter. So there we go. We look at our tenure. That's our history right there. Four and eight, four and eight, seven and five, nine and four, eleven and two, nine and four, and then ten and three. We've won the cheese at bowl two times in the past three years. So we're still safe. We've still done a great job, all things considered, but we have high standards. The Alabama head coaching position is available, as is the Michigan position, as Jim Harbaugh was fired. Uh, obviously, we're not going to do anything. I'm intrigued to see if anything changes with our coaching staff, since I am not in control of coordinators. God knows where we'd be without Chip Kelly. Well, he didn't do enough to push us over the edge like I thought he would. So... Goodness, all right. So, indeed, we have a new offensive coordinator, or the points just reset for Chip again. I'm going to guess it's the latter. Did the points reset for Chip again? They did. That's really weird. I wonder if the points are even actually counting for him. It just feels like they're probably glitched out. You know? If I had to guess, I'd just say the points are probably glitched. There we go. So players leaving, let's have it confirmed. Fucking hell. We are gonna lose Spankton Woodward the fourth. We thought he was the one. Projected to be a sixth round draft pick. Really thought he was the one. 30 touchdowns this year. His only season as a starter. 3,100 yards with 30 touchdowns. Oh my God. 3,100 yards, 30 touchdowns, four picks. And that still wasn't enough to get us to a national title picture. Oh my god. Still wasn't enough. Pinkley Torres projected oh, to be a seventh good rounder. For you. Shout out to Big Oak for the follow. Pinkley had to replace Pat Garwo and Sean Peterson. Let's be honest, those were big shoes to fill. Pinkley had his moments though. Uh, I'd, rank, I'd rank him third of the bunch. He only had four touchdowns this year. Pinkley was solid, but he couldn't quite fill those shoes. Not quite. Again, was injured this year, too. Limitless Glory chooses to graduate, as does Eugene Krabs and Hingle McGringleberry. We'll never forget that kick return for Eugene. Nine touchdowns this year, 13 in total. Guy being dude, one hell of a tight end. 12 touchdowns over the past three years, over a thousand yards total in his career. Guy being dude also is gonna graduate, doesn't go pro. At right guard, the legend himself, hot singles in your area. He is gone, the pride of Hamilton, Ontario. Lloyd Christmas, uh, after having the best season in the nation for a defensive lineman. He was the best defensive lineman in the nation this year. Finally gets a chance as a starter, wins the Bednarik, Nagurski, and the Lombardi. That's a big loss. Sternhard Schizophrenia, projected for the third round. That is a big Big loss as well. And then Wawa, the trifecta of major... De this defense struggled to begin with. And now we're going to lose Lloyd Christmas, Sternhard Schizophrenia, and Wawa. That fucking sucks. That sucks. We're also losing Cam Jansen to graduation, who was also a pretty good linebacker for us. 
And we lose our top corner. Raminen Mahashol also retires or graduates. We'll call it retirement. And the Jasper Proben Crux the second also graduates. Some major, major losses again this year. A lot of talent that we lost. A lot. I don't know how well, I mean, we know we have a good recruitment class coming up. Um, you know, we know we have some decent people to begin with, but. Wawa goes in the second round, Schizo in the third, sixth for Woodward and seventh for Pinkley Taurus. So four of our boys do end up getting drafted. We have no transfer requests, which is okay. I don't know what the hell just happened and why it brought me to that. So the final week of recruiting, one of the states you can recruit from the six New England states, which would be Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Vermont, and New Hampshire. And Canada as well. So we already know recruitment-wise we're good. We have no scholarships left. So we can just sim ahead to signing day and have it confirmed just how good of a class uh, we ended up having here. Again, a lot of talent that we ended up losing this year, but Oof. we'll see what happens. And for the first time, if I'm not mistaken, we have a top 10 class. We needed that, that optimism, that pickup. Ninth best recruitment class in the nation with five four-star players. No five stars this year, though, but that's huge. Number nine in the nation, Oklahoma brought in six five-star players. Jesus criminy. So, continually we lose players and we're like, man, how, how competitive are we going to be able to be? And we've always been able to still be competitive. And I'm sure we will still be this year. But on paper, obviously, this team is going to look a little bit rough until we know for sure. Uh, what type of development we're seeing. Now, we do have Jack Harden, who is a 77 quarterback, a 75 running back, and a 78 wide receiver. But we were looking at this guy. I mean, great speed, acceleration, pretty good injury resistance. It was 84 throw power, 82 accuracy. As much as we could run him at wide receiver or at running back, He's got to be a QB, right? 87 route running, though. He could be a great wide receiver. We are going to have to make some changes at wide out, too. Uh, we have taken a hit again. These overalls aren't final. And then Ray Jones is a 72 running back, a 72 wide receiver. So Ray Jones is either a running back or a wide out as well. And judging by those ratings, he is a running back, not a wide receiver. 95 juke, Jesus. This guy definitely looks more like a running back than a wide receiver. Like the release, the route running, catching traffic, it all needs so much work. Let's take a look around first. So quarterback-wise, we know Skywalker will be our starter this year. It's going to be the first time we've had a pocket passer for a while. Running back, those are the four. Pretty straightforward. A Dick and Squeezy Jacuzzi to be the guys. There's not really too much to debate. You know, obviously, Skywalker is only going to be good there. Ed's only going to be good there. There's Thad Castle's there now. The Dick is clearly a running back. Jacuzzi's clearly a running back. Johnson could be a wide receiver. Bullsworth, clearly a running back. Let me move Dwayne over for a minute. I'm going to double check fullbacks and tight ends here as well. Okay, so Toothy Beach, 
clearly a fullback. Oxlong, gonna be a tight end. Bronze Janssen, fullback. Department of Player Safety is an 80 rated wide receiver or a 78 rated tight end. Oh yeah, Department of Player Safety is a senior already. Move Singletary and Player Safety over. 64 at tight end. So let's see, he drops by six. He drops by two. All right, so no doubt Rodriguez gets moved over. So we would need one wide receiver to move over to running, or to move over to tight end. Player safety is the obvious shout, especially with that lack of speed. Yeah. Sorry, we're just having to check a few things to make sure. Now we have everything set up as we need it. Yeah, Singletary can be the one. But then again, Singletary is slow as fuck. He's got to move back over to tight end. Portolini's better as a running back. Oh, we have some real tough choices here. We have some real tough choices. We're going to have to think about this. <laughs> 